Let's look at these properties of ionization energy and electron affinity in more detail. I have here a table summarizing electron affinities, ionization energies, and the electronic configurations of more elements on the periodic table. Now, one of the first things you notice is that the electron affinities are generally negative. That is, if you add an electron to an element, it generally accepts that element, goes to a more stable state, releasing energy. So electrons are generally accepted. Free electron and an atom, the most stable state is that electron attached to the atom. In some cases, nitrogen and neon, for instance, you can see it's around zero. That is, nitrogen and neon are rather indifferent as to whether they'll accept an electron. And we can see why that's the case. Nitrogen and neon, nitrogen having a half-filled P shell and neon having a full P shell, are less likely to accept electrons. So there's a stability in half-filled shells and full shells that's different from their half or less filled counterparts. And you can see neon at the edge of the periodic table is in the Nobel gases, a relatively unreactive element. And it's so unreactive, even won't even pick up free electrons. Sodium and, excuse me, nitrogen is a half filled p orbital. And the half filled p orbital is relatively stable. It has three parallel spins. When it accepts another electron, that electron has to go in anti-parallel and spin pair with one of the electrons there. And that's just enough perturbation to make that electron affinity not so favorable. Now, the ionization energies are all positive. It always requires energy to pull electrons away from atoms. If I pull electrons away from atoms, I can see even in this abbreviated table, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, that's going across the periodic table now, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and I can even go down to neon, going across the periodic table, I have a general increase in the ionization energy. So we can see even now it looks like there's trends going across the periodic table as well as down the periodic table as we saw with ionization energies.